gun pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Duck! if you... Pretty good at this. You guys are working way too hard. You're always looking to one up us, aren't you? Seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? Order of the Stone, it's time to get some glory. For, for glory! glory! I know we all yelled glory out there, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping for treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Petra. This place is cool. Knew you'd find it. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. So, how are you feeling lately? Wither sickness free, I think. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice though. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. Olivia. Yeah? So, have you been having a good time hunting for treasure? If you had asked me a couple of months ago, I would never have thought I would like all this adventuring and treasure hunting stuff. But this has actually been a really good time. And I've been getting lots of great stuff to build with. Any ideas for how to fix this? Well... These channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. So what kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers, but some cocoa beans would be cool too. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Locked again! Hey, it's working! Oh, wait. No, it's not. Never mind. What you need, buddy? 
So, what kind of loot you think we're going to find in here? Oh, man. Well, I want to make a room with an emerald floor, right? Yeah, who doesn't? I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. Man, we have the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough or smart enough or whatever enough to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. You know it. Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. Sounds good, dude. would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what we were getting into. Hilarious. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought wither storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. We've got. Hey, it's a cake. 
Ah, oh, man, you got cake? It's just, I really love cake. Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, thank you. Huh, a pumpkin, not bad. I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. I'll be honest with you, Olivia. I have no idea what this is or what it does. Uh, I do. Uh, burning stuff, right? I mean, but it must do something besides that, right? You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, Flint and Steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen Flint and Steel do that before. Uh-oh. like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, I think you mean the warrior whip? Obviously. Olivia, prep the redstone wrap. Nearly there. Okay, activate. <laughs> good job, Jesse. Worked perfectly. Whoa, you so gotta teach me how to make one of those. Yeah, pretty spectacular. Ugh, all these mobs, where does it end? I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. Way ahead of you on that one, Axel. Whoa! Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Well, well, well. If it isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. That's not our name. So what are you... Ocelot doing here anyway. The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. 
Oh, uh, that's too bad. I thought Ocelots was way cooler. That's what I said. Shut up, Jill. And hey, where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Hmm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Yeah, Lucas is a hero. Which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah, we fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. <laughs> Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! Ooh. I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man. And all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. Come on, Aiden's just jealous, isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well... No matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. It looks freaking awesome! Welcome back! See that? Jesse high-fired me! Me! It actually hurt a little bit. Wow. That wasn't a happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! Causing trouble again? Nothing. Just a little spirited debate with the local community. Brain function is proving difficult for them. You need to remove this now! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. 
Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! What about just moving it someplace else? I'm sure- Move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that! Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. I believe it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But... Like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we bake it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Stay out of trouble, you two. You stay out of trouble. Good one. Thanks. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. This place is really shaping up. Whoa! Lucas! I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hey, Lucas! Great to see you! It's been a while. I really missed you guys. We missed you too. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I still feel guilty about it. Every time I see another pig, all I can think about is how Reuben died because I put him in danger. He didn't die in some accident, Jesse. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any less guilty, though. <sighs> okay, guys. Look, I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Uh-huh, yeah, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Aiden's a stupid bully. He doesn't scare me. Yeah, that's what I used to say, too. But he's been freaking me out lately. He got super aggressive. He demanded to know what treasure you were after next. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! What? Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... that you're actually holding this! Okay, Spill, what's it do? It proves what I've always suspected. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. 
Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Right? So, what's the flint and steel do, then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. The Ever... what now? The Eversource! Are you, uh, gonna actually explain it any more than that? The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place! Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. Well, what are we waiting for, then? We've already been to that temple once. Finding it again will be a snap. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries? You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving! This is so exciting! <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. Sure, that's true. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Ivor, it's nice to see you smiling. I'm not smiling. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. I can't believe we missed some sort of secret area here last night. Eh, uh, we were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny. You look excited, Ivor. Excited? I'm ecstatic. Thrilled! Overjoyed! The Eversource could finally be within my grasp! Once, sir, uh, once we find it, that is. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you, Jesse, I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. Doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. So, you think this Eversource thing is up here? 
Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential, so they well, hid it away in a place promising. where it would never be found. And Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. But where does it lead? I don't know. This portal, it's not like anything I've ever seen. Here goes nothing. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. Dude, why are you being such a tool? Your little adventure is over, Jesse. Time to go home. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. We're going after Aiden and we're going to take him down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't worry, I've got you! Surprisingly heavy. I am uh, the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much. There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, what just happened? How did that portal even work? I suppose much the same way a portal to the nether works, except to an entirely different world. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? I'm starting to think Ivor was right about this being another world. I'm liking you better by the minute, Louis. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it. That's where it must be, the Eversource. The city and the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're going to reach it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please! You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes. Very astute, Lucas. Ivor the Grump strikes again, I see. This island is definitely big enough. Really? Yeah, if we dig up this entire island, we should have enough to get us over there. Pushing. I'm pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. You're building! I... you... Uh, I... I don't... Hey, you seen a bunch of punks in matching jackets? Call themselves the Blaze Rods? I'm... I'm... Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I can't talk to you. Why? Y you... 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 you were building! A unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden! This... this makes no sense! No sense at I, all! I, I... I... well, uh... 
That's the law? Okay, I'll bite. Why is building against the law? Oh, uh, it, this is making me terribly nervous, but, uh, first those other outsiders, now you! Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come I'm back! I'm super busy, sorry! And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... nervous. Wow. Incredible. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Yes. Clearly, the Ever Source is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it. Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes. I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it. He won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. We need to find Aiden. He's got our flint and steel, and he's up to no good, but we're gonna stop him. He mentioned an inn, right? That seems like our best lead for finding Aiden so far. Agreed. The Blaze Rods already have a head start, so we need to get moving. We don't have any time to lose. Boy, these are some popular crafting tables. Don't worry, everyone. Your turn will come in time. Please have your materials ready when you approach the crafting table. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have waited so long to eat. This is a long line just to use a crafting table. You're telling me I'm so hungry I could practically eat my wheat right here. But I won't. I'll be patient and turn it into delicious bread instead. What, uh, what can I do for you? It seems pretty inefficient to have everyone sharing one crafting table. Why don't you just build your own? What? Hey, I don't know what your deal is, but I don't want any part of it. Please leave me alone now. Thank you. Hey there. Are you on the schedule for the furnace this afternoon? Didn't think there were any more appointments today. Hang on. Let me see here. Dale, ten stone blocks. Oh yes, that went very well. Melissa, three cooked pork chops. She rescheduled. Classic Mel. You keep the furnace locked up? Did it do something wrong? If you wish to make an appointment, speak to the founder. Good day. No building, no crafting, no brewing, no forging, unless with express permission from the founder. All complaints must be registered in person. That's it, you can stop writing now. Intense. The Founder isn't accepting visitors right now. Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, oh, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The Founder finally approved my petition. The Founder? Well, that's her palace up there. She is the Keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Some days I can't even fathom how she keeps it all straight. She's incredible. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a fan. She builds everything? Yeah, well, it sure is amazing. <laughs> That's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. It's no easy feat to get all these oak blocks. Your petition was very well handled. Oh, gosh. That's nice of you. Man, that sounds like a tough way to live life. I suppose. It's the way it's always been, though. Hi! Uh, hello. You know where the inn is? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't trust the innkeeper, though. 
If you really want to find him, his inn's over there. Thanks, I'll leave you to it then. How's it going, Lucas? I'm okay. Just watching these guards. They really mean business. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here, <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. I heard from someone in town that you could help me. Other people were talking about me? <laughs> they must have me mistaken with some other handsome innkeeper. <laughs> <clears throat> Out of curiosity, what is it that uh, they thought I could help you with? I'm sorry, but I'm actually quite busy. Inns don't keep themselves, you know. Lots of busy work. I heard you talk to the Blaze Rods earlier. What did they want? Hmm. Hmm. Blaze Rods? Hmm. I... I don't know any Blaze Rods. You must have been misled. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, is this our guy? He tell you where to find the Blaze Rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Is he hiding them somewhere? You sure keep saying I don't know anything a lot. Don't lie to me, Milo. That's how bad things happen. Fine. If it will make you leave me alone, that Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder! I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Oh, this is not good. What are you... Oh, crap. People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene builders! Atrocious! I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to the Eversource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. By getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Unhand me! Hey, don't treat him like that. We didn't do anything wrong. <gasps> the builders! Ha! Huh. You'd see it my way. Thank you, Jesse. Hey! Hands off the roads. Guards, bring them forward. Jesse, I... I'll find a way to help you. I promise. Let go of me this instant! Excuse me! Excuse me! Come with me.
We meet at last. <laughs> listen, I don't know what that guy's told you, but you can't listen to him. Oh, Jesse, I'm hurt. Wounded. Hmm. I admire your honesty in stepping forward. This should be interesting. to Sky City. I grant you these gifts. There, see? That my card she summoned. It must lead to the Eversource. Really? That's what you're focusing on? I'd say we have bigger problems on our hands. Like Aiden. Look at him all friendly with the Founder. That's bad news. Lucas is right. We need to figure out what Aiden is up to so we can stop him. That's what we need to stay focused on. I've got the feeling I already know what Aiden is up to. Take your reward and enjoy the bounty of Sky City's generosity. Carrots? Really? You gotta be kidding- We are honored, wonderful founder. Of course. Now go. I have criminals to deal with. Good luck, Jesse. I hope you like being doomed. Totally doomed. Blaze rods! You're going down, Aiden. I'm gonna stop you. Not this time, Jesse. Out of my way, Reggie. It's Reginald. Come on, criminals. Time to see the Founder. Jesse and accomplices. You have committed acts of wanton and illegal building, something specifically forbidden by our laws. Explain yourself. This could still turn out okay. But I didn't know it was against the law when we started to build. We were stranded. What were we supposed to do? Ignorance won't get you any favors. Aiden told me all about you, Jesse. About how you're a tyrant back home. About how you and your Order of the Stone steal all the world's treasures for yourself. About how you're here to steal the Eversource from my city. A terrible act of treason. Listen, Founder, Aiden's a master manipulator. He'd say anything to get his hands on the Eversource. <laughs> Much like you would seem to be doing right now. Jesse, it's clear that you're the little ringleader. So how about you come with me? Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just wait here then. Tell me what you see. I don't see anything. It's just empty. Precisely. As you can see, nothing exists below us. Only the void. Resources. Every kind are incredibly precious. And when something falls gone forever. It is why building only happens when I dictate it. People only receive materials when I allow it. Otherwise, we would collapse back into chaos. It is my duty to keep my people safe, and the only way I can do that is if our laws are obeyed. I guess that makes sense. How would you get anything new up here? I appreciate your trying to understand our world. <sighs> People act as though I want things to be this way. Allocating the limited resources. Risking my life every day. I'm so tired of people being so cryptic about this thing. Just tell me what it is. It is my burden, my curse. I'll have you know that before I found the Eversource, this world was nothing more than a cluster of pathetic islands in the sky. I do this for my people. That is why I do what I do. 
But you don't need to do it alone. We could help you. We could work together. <sighs> Being the leader of this city, it is a tiring burden. Uh, but no, this is my city. These are my people. And it is my responsibility. I think I've heard quite enough. Good. Now that you're back, we can talk properly. Reginald, I've made my decision. While I'm not convinced that you are here to steal the Eversource, the fact remains that you constructed a bridge of dirt without authorization. That is why you and your companions are to be detained <gasps> until I can discern the full truth of the matter. Reginald, please remove them. Yes, ma'am. What? What? That's not fair. You can't lock us up. I believe you'll find that I can. Sorry, outsiders. Founder's orders. No changing your mind now. You guys have some really fascinating stuff here. Think we could make a deal? Trade some of our sweet stuff for freedom? I don't take bribes. Besides, I've already got all your stuff. Too bad. Oh, wow. What is this? That's fine? It's almost like dirt. Not. That's called sand. You've never seen sand before? Sand? Wow. What's it do? Are you kidding me? We are not going to explain sand to the guy locking us behind bars. I refuse. Well, whatever it does, it's going in the chest with everything else. <laughs> Nothing sadder than an unimportant man on the world's tiniest power trip. Hey, I don't have to take this. I'm in charge here. You're criminals. Aiden told everyone all about how horrible you are. <clears throat> he said that you burn down trees just for fun. That you steal all the world's treasures and hoard them for yourself. He also said that you tame wild animals just so you can make them chase innocent people. You can't believe a thing Aiden says. He's a liar. He said that you'd say that. I suppose that's probably what a liar would say. I'm sorry, but this is the way it has to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go help the Blaze Rods beef up security. Can't believe I'm taking orders from that sniveling little... <clears throat> Stay here. Don't cause any trouble. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable. Reginald, you've got to listen to me. Aiden's tricked the Founder so that he can steal the Eversource for himself. There's not much time. They're personal guests of the Founder, and sure, maybe I don't like them, but... I'm probably just being... paranoid. Reggie, listen to me. You've seen how they act. They're not good people. You know it. Okay, let's say you make a good point. And I'm not saying you do. But hypothetically, why would I, Captain of the Guard, let you, a criminal, out of that cell? I'll never know how you looked at them and thought, there are some upstanding citizens. Okay, maybe you don't like me very much, but tell me this. Who do you not like more, me or Aiden? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's say I'm heading to the pantry to get you prisoners some bread. Do you... 
You see where I'm going with this? And maybe you'll forget to lock the door? Please just get out of here. Get to the throne room and stop the blaze rods. Nice work! Now, on to the Eversource. I mean, I understand wanting to stop the blaze rods, but you can't still really want to steal the Eversource, can you? Honestly, I just don't want Aiden to get his hands on the Eversource. So long as we stop him, that's what's important. Sounds good to me. No way Aiden would do anything good if he had it. Throne room was back this way. Well, here we are. Back in the throne room. Keep your voice down. We don't know if we're alone in here. I don't know. Looks deserted to me. Lucas, look out! Ugh. Hey! Wait, stop! Milo, easy! That's Jesse and Lucas! Jesse, I can't believe we found you! I can't believe you punched me! Ah, uh, yes, I feel absolutely terrible about that. Let me assure you, where were you? Yeah. We were actually planning to break you out of jail, but I guess you guys have that covered. Hello again, Jesse. It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once more. I had hoped this would be the case. You trust this guy, Petra? Yeah, he really helped me. He's cool. In actuality, I'm the leader of a group that wants the same thing you do. It's a rebellion. It is a long story. In short, my people want to free the Eversource from the Founder's clutches so that everyone may use it. If Aiden and his blaze rods steal the Eversource, we'll just be trading one tyrant for another. I won't allow that. Yeah, he's got to be stopped. If we work together, we can find it first. I do like the idea of beating Aiden. Hey, if Petra says you're cool, that's all I need to hear. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. Yeah, there was a door here before with a minecart. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! Hmm. I get the feeling this is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Well, that is pretty special. Lava and water, placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! That is ingenious! There isn't, like, a potion or something that could help us, is there? That's not how potions work, Jesse. 
Although I should really look into that. Oh, uh, Jesse. Thank you, by the way, for getting arrested with me. No one's ever done anything like that for me before. Ah, well, you're welcome, I Now go away! All of this opening up is making me grossly uncomfortable. Habits of the Enderman by Soren? Well, how'd that get here? The rest are just inventory registries and legal information. Boring. How's it looking? Still looking like it needs power. Don't worry, I'll find the answer. Okay. I believe in you. What would Olivia say right now? Probably something like, Jesse, it looks like it doesn't have any power. So do you have, like, any underground rebel-type secrets? that could help us out here? Uh, I'm afraid not. Though I will certainly tell you, if I think of any. Jesse, what are you doing? Ha, huh? sorry. Definitely regal, not bad. Must be where the founder crafts things for the people. sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Okay, let's do this. Ah, my old friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah. Didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. You and your friend Petra have been very inspiring to me and my people. With your help, we may finally liberate ourselves from the Founder's clutches. Here we come. <sighs> wow, look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all peopled? Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean?
Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? A sheep? Is... is that a monster? That is not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So, she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So this must be where the resources come from. Different monsters and creatures, different drops. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah! I can't wait! Let's take a look around. source is a chicken what yes the spawn eggs it's so simple wait 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 that's the ever source so the chicken lays the eggs and the eggs make monsters and the loot from the monsters made this place well throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here we're still taking it right the chicken that the entire city depends on are you sure that's a good idea what are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people! With it, we'll finally be free of the Founder! But that clucking thing is what we came for! <laughs> hey, I'm with you, Ivor. Let's grab it and get out of here. Ah! Adventure! Dude, seriously? I knew you were here to steal from me. Ah! Uh, pain! Oh, she's too fast! Just give me a second to catch my breath. Hey, get your... <laughs> Says the trespassing criminal. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe that! Oh, Aiden, will you just shut up already? And I'm supposed to believe the escaped convicts? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves. And here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. Reaper, look out! I've got Aiden! Save the bounty! Oh, you got me, Lucas? Jesse? 
there! Can we get to it in time? It's gonna be close! You're down here too? Lucas, you made it! Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Got me pretty good. Lucas, I'm really sorry I didn't try to help you up there. I only had a few seconds. Everything was happening so fast. No, no, don't worry about it. Aiden was, uh, <laughs> stronger than I was expecting. It was good of you to try and save the founder. Uh, speaking of whom, is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Uh, let me ask. Founder? Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. Wow, so, guess you were wrong, huh? About there being no ground. I had no idea. How... how could I have known? <sighs> mm. This has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. Well, land is gonna be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's gonna change everything. Yes. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What, what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> you can bring all your people down here. They, they won't have to, to petition for resources or any of that stuff anymore. I... I suppose you're right. Yes, we have to go back up and tell them. Getting back up? My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. not a good sign. Aiden's made some big mistakes. He's probably in completely over his head by now. I can't Aiden could be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. We did kind of start this mess. Of course I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Isa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, huh, that'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. We need to start gathering dirt as much as we can. Uh, how will that help? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? Uh, what? What is it? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys? You ready? Yes, I I think so. I uh I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. Aiden got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. Yeah, you don't look so good. You should rest up, try and get some food. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for understanding. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. 
Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save me, I mean. under attack by monsters now. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Hey, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? No. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. See you on the other side. Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Can't stop what you can't see. <laughs> You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the Founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut up! You... This is between you and me, Aiden. Leave Reginald out of it. I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the Founder with you? Ah! What the... Reginald! Not one more step! I killed you once! I can do it again! Just you and me, Aiden. Just you and me now. Just... die already! Should've left while you had the chance! Listen to yourself, that's insane! Why 
Why couldn't you have left well enough alone? can't stand to see someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win! It just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, look around you, it's over, give up! No! You don't get to tell me that! He can lie in it. What? No! You can't just... How dare you! Stop ignoring me! No! 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 No!
are lying. There's brown everywhere. Jesse, I cannot thank you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long, now you can go do whatever you want. I wonder what happened to Aiden. Hey, guards. Check out what washed up right next to me. Uh, freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. <laughs> what goes around comes around, am I right, guys? Attention! Attention! Hello, hello everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow. Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Just relax a minute, okay? Relax? Relax? My people are in more danger than they ever have been, and you want me to relax? No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. This is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Oh, that's right. In the middle of all the fighting and everything, I almost forgot. When I was on the ground with the founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Because I could have sworn I said something. No, you didn't. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. You're not gonna eat her, are you? Don't be morbid, of course not. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, that's a boy's name. Huh, <laughs> what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? No, I just saw those pigs and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. 
See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here when we fed. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting.